Let's talk about happy things. Okay, well, let's talk about your next film then, because it's Hamlet Goes things. Business is quite happy. Yeah, it's a comedy. So why did you, you, you don't... That's a happy ending. Everybody's dead except two dogs. <laughs> you see, now that's not the way it ends in Shakespeare's version, is it? You kill a few more people than he does. Yeah, maybe he left somebody alive. I never really read the book, I just while uh, shooting, so uh, I never concentrated on the, on the plot too much. But it, the film is following very much the story. The dialogue is half-half. Quite proud that no audience don't notice when it changes from him to me and back. Well, I think I, I know this one or two. There's a scene when, uh, when Guildenstern and Rosencrantz have a drink with Hamlet, and they tell him they've seen the ghost the night before, and they just say, we saw your dad last night which is slightly different to the Shakespeare version. That's one of the most wonderful things in Aki's film, that there, there is this, this humor ever. And very unexpected things happening all the time. Also, it's, a, it's very, very interesting to, to see how, how sometimes it seems that foreigners understand better the humor of, of Aki's films. What actually inspired you to uh, use Hamlet as a starting point? A starting point for what? For your film, because it's, it's not actually a verbatim version of Shakespeare's Hamlet. It is. That's no, not. It is. It isn't. Nowhere in Shakespeare's Hamlet does he sell rubber ducks. Tiedän että ne teistä jotka muistavat vuosien ja vuosi kymmenien takaisia kokouksia, jolloin tämän samaisen pöydän ääressä esiteltiin uusista tuotantoja markkinaalueista päätettäessä, milloin uusia paperilaatuja, milloin granaatin kuoria. Saattavat pitää tätä kumiankkaa väärään paikkaan eksyneenä tai jopa huvittavana. Is rubber duck sells not in, in the book? Well, maybe not in the version I was taught at school. Maybe I was taught the wrong version. Maybe in the Finnish translation, the rubber duck <laughs> business. Now, it's a comedy. I mean, it's a comedy of sorts, but at the same time, it's, it's very much an attack on, on uh, big business in its way. So, in some respects, perhaps it could be seen as one of your more serious films. Yeah, it's, it's not a very funny comedy. It's quite unfunny comedy. It's very serious. I think life is a serious thing, so you have to, when you walk here on the earth, you have to be serious all the time. That's why I prefer to make serious films. I hate people laughing. They make such a noise, it goes in my ears. That's why I never laugh myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the film festival, one of the non-cinematic highlights was undoubtedly the late night tango dancing arranged by Aki in a municipal car park. Aki regularly features tangos in his films and gets about as excited as you're ever likely to see him when it comes to spreading the word about the true origin of the tango. Tell me about the Finnish tango then. Why is that so different to tango elsewhere? There is no tango elsewhere. Argentina has a copy of Finnish tango, but it's quite okay for Argentinians, but not generally. It was born here, tango. It was imported to the United States and then it went south to Argentina and then they brought it to Europe and they are pretending that tango was born in Argentina. Another couple of beers and Aki would probably have tried to convince me that the blues come from Finland too. But not wishing to offend, I felt it only right to take the plunge and swing around the car park in true Finnish style. <laughs> Here's the 
Late night drinking parties were another important feature of the festival, and the Finns huge alcohol consumption is almost legendary. Not surprisingly, bar scenes play an important part in all of Aki's movies. Ginger ale. Where I come from, we eat places like this for breakfast. Now I've interviewed you about three times now, and you're a very hard man to get the measure of. Piece of cake. And I'm sure that's a deliberate thing, Aki, because you're a very defensive man. Me? Yeah. Maybe. So you have to form your own opinion. Seems a very unusual line of work, though, for a man who's doesn't seem enormously at ease talking about himself to do something as personally revealing as make films the way you do. What does it mean, the, the word uh, revealing? What does it mean, revealing? Hello. Hi. We are a rock and roll band. Can we play here? Sure, help yourself. Fifty, fifty. Okay. You don't move the camera much. You tend to lock it off. Why is that? Because very often I make the camera drives myself. And if you have a hangover, it's quite hard work to push the camera. During the years, it just forgotten. I think that's a very unsatisfactory answer, to be quite frank with you. I suspect there's a little... No, less... it has to be, because it's the truth. But there must be uh, some sort of stylist, stylistic considerations there, aren't there? What is style? Aki's style grows perhaps from the simplicity of his ideas. And what some critics admire most 